quarter, uh, you have all these options, which a lot of people don't even know. It took me a while to figure this out myself. But here you have stop. Run here once again. Just wanted to cover a quick video uh, that was requested today on actually setting stops, actual stops on your options trades. Uh, so as you guys know, I just move my stop along, just basically an alert. I don't actually set an actual physical stop because I feel like they always will come back for them and stop you out even when the move will continue your way. So I don't want to get caught in one of these spikes here uh, and get stopped out when it actually is just going to continue lower. So that's why I don't actually set them. But if you do want to set them when you're deep in the money already and you just don't want to uh, have to bother keeping looking at them, you can go ahead and just uh, go ahead and create a closing order the same way you create a limit order. And you're just going to go ahead and create a closing order. And then as you can see here, uh, uh, this is my price where I'm thinking, hey, if it hits 191.1, 191 uh, that's probably where I want to set my stop. So you can go ahead and, and just go ahead and adjust your price to uh, where you think that price is. And then down here, it'll tell you what the expected price for Apple uh, will have to be in this case for it to be at that price. And then you can just uh, adjust it accordingly until it, it puts you at that limit, for example. So here we go. 191.1 would be $1.96 for the option. That's what it estimates it would be. And you may need to adjust this, as you see, because uh, your limit orders, stop orders will change um, based on uh, on the price movement and the action and the momentum and the uh, implied volatility. Every, all, a bunch of little things affect the price. So you have to keep an eye on this uh, just to make sure it doesn't move down past where you want it. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and change this instead of limit order. Uh, you want to go ahead and select here under order. Uh, you have all these options, which a lot of people don't even know. It took me a while to figure this out myself. But here you have stop. And then you can just set it there. You see? So you see 196, how this changes. It changed 114, 190, 10, 190, So this is what I mean. Uh, this is just a roundabout figure. But if you want to set it, you can go ahead and set your stop like this. Uh, you can also set a trail stop, trail stop limit, uh, or stop limit. Uh, which these all uh, produce different results. Obviously, your trailing stop would just follow your stop based on what you set it. So 10 cents, 20 cents. Uh, since it uh, doesn't give me a um, a follow the candle type of thing, I just don't do it. I mean, I don't set these at all, but uh, this is how you go about doing this. And then you can do stop limit um, where you can set your stop and then the limits where you, you don't want it to go past this point. Uh, and then it, it, it aborts it. So your stop could be 196, but your limit could be 190. So don't close me out uh, if the price goes below 190. Uh, this is the lowest I want to get rid of this for, and then I want to readjust and reevaluate my decision. So let's say it blows past 196 and plus 190. It won't go past 190 based on your rule here, and it'll say, hey, if I can't close at 190 or higher, uh, I don't want to close at all because I want to readjust and uh, and pay attention to what I want to do next. Um, and then you have your trail stop limit, which is basically you do the same thing with the limit, but then it's a trailing stop as well. Okay, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and set the stop just so you see it done. I'm not going to keep it on there, but let me actually move it higher just so that you see it. So let's do 150. Okay, 150 estimated price is 190. Uh, 0.96. Now let's uh, hold on. Let's make it higher. So I want it higher. You see how that price changes, guys? You see this? Um, even though I, I lowered it, um, let's go ahead and do 190, 182. All right. So go ahead and set this. Check this out. So the order goes up here and it's in there and now you have your stop limit there and then you can go ahead and set another limit for your take profit here so let's go ahead and create a closing order so I'll sell two apples I'm gonna go ahead and set my limit order at two uh, around 189 here so I want it to be uh, 189.13 so let's do 250 all right, 189.02, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and set that. All right. So you're gonna get a pop-up asking you if you want to uh, create an OCO order, click accept or continue placing two separate orders, basically. Now that we have a stop and you're setting a limit, you can, it'll, you can create it as an OCO 
or you can uh, set it as a uh, two separate orders. And then you would have to manually go in and cancel that stop uh, order. Uh, you would have to get rid of it uh, because otherwise uh, it'll try to uh, sell a position there, guys, okay? So here it's asking me to replace. There you go. So because I added this one, it got rid of the other one. So that's the thing. So uh, you would have to create these as OCO. So one uh, cancels the other, okay? And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you create stop orders uh, and uh, more advanced uh, trailing stops and things like that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Uh, once again, subscribe, share, and uh, also contribute under the uh, community discussion. I added a couple of questions there in case you guys want to suggest any videos. Go ahead and add any comments there so that I can uh, go ahead and upload those for you guys. All right, I'll see you guys next time.